Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. And today I'm talking about blood clots in adults after COVID infection. And I'm gonna be sharing highlights from two published articles in the medical literature. Now, this message is not to, meant to be diagnostic for anyone's medical condition. And please know that I'm not trying to make anyone anxious or fearful because so many people have had COVID. Now, experts, clinical experts say that COVID can take a toll on nearly every organ in the human body, including the lungs, brain, liver, heart, and blood vessels. And so today we're talking about the link between COVID and blood clots. Now, it's been known since the beginning of the pandemic that at least in hospitalized patients are more likely to have uh, blood clots as part of their COVID infection. Now, Swedish researchers published an article in the British Medical Journal last month on April 6th that showed that the risk of blood clots in adults is higher at least for up to six months after COVID infection. Specifically, there is a higher risk of DVTs, which stands for deep venous thrombosis, uh, pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lung, or bleeding event within the first two months after COVID. Now, the risk of bleeding and blood clots was highest in those who had more severe disease and those who were infected in the original Omicron wave and decreased in the second and the third wave. Now, in case you're wondering, the symptoms of DVT, deep venous thrombosis, which typically occurs in the legs, thigh, or pelvis, can include pain, swelling, tenderness, redness, and increased warmth over the skin of the site. And symptoms of pulmonary embolism, blood clots to the lung, can include difficulty breathing, chest pain or discomfort, faster than normal or irregular heartbeat, coughing up blood, lightheadedness or fainting due to, you know, lack of oxygen. Now, both DVTs and pulmonary embolisms are true medical emergencies. So please, if you're having these symptoms at any time, not just after COVID, get to the nearest emergency room as soon as possible. Now, I want to say this clearly. Not everyone with COVID infection is at risk for blood clots. The risk overall is low, but it's not rare. Now, there was another article that was just published on May 13th in the British journal Lancet, which showed the risk of blood clotting and bleeding is higher with increased age in men and people with certain medical risk factors. But here's the reality. We have a huge number of people who have been infected with COVID. And given the serious nature of blood clots, I personally think it's better to know about a potential complication risk than to not know. So keep your guard up, folks. Stay safe if you've had COVID. Please stay connected to your doctor and always take your symptoms seriously. Treatment may vary, you know, based upon your age and condition and your medical history. But remember, these symptoms are not in your head. Take them seriously. And that's my message today on blood clots after COVID infection.